Hello and welcome. My name is Rick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can open your radio information using Intent in an Android app you have built. So I'm going to be showing you how to build that Android app and that feature so you can just add it into your Android app. Normally you open your dial pad and uh, go to here and then you dial the hash star then 4636 then hash then star then hash then star this opens up your testing so the heading says testing however for us we want to access the phone information okay there's battery information there's user information there's wi-fi information all of that we can be we can access so i'm going to be showing you how you can access the rest the coming videos as of now phone information is the one we're going to be accessing so i want us to come here when we open our app when we, when we open our app i want us to come here so I'm going to go to recently, yeah, no, recently. So these are the op apps I have open right now. So I close all of them. So I have no recent items. So this is the app right here. We're going to be building. So if it's your first time to see my YouTube channel, I show you how you can improve, improvise and add more to your programming skill. So when I click the button, it brings us to this app information, as you can see. So my recently, simply as my app, the first one I open, then it has the settings. So I close, I delete all of them, I go back to the app, and I click the, bat the button, then it brings me here. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video, so in return, please subscribe and like where you don't understand, please comment. Ricky is Okay, so let us start with the code, um, so I'm in main activity to Java, so this is the code here in main activity to Java, let me zoom in a little bit. So we have one simple button. Do you know what things are the main activity of Java? So when I go to the main.xml, click the designer, this is what we have. Okay? If I go back, uh, let me first check the, the Android manifest. So the Android manifest also has one activity. That's the main activity. So when I go to the build.gradle, uh, build.gradle, we now compact SDK version here 24. The targeted SDK at 24. In a minimum SDK we are 14. So those are the SDKs we have. Okay. So let us go back to the main main activity of Java. So this is where our code is going to be. So first of all we have to create an intent. Okay. So to do So if view is not given, if view is not given here, view of battery one, you, know, you can just click on any, and then you delete. Then you put V. Then view comes. Then you like that. Then you close. I'm closing a bracket. Then you take out semicolon. So on the line below, line below, you put in. So here we have to add a set flag. So set flag is needed in some cases. However, I haven't needed it until this program, until this project. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any programming video I release so you put here in the end as well it built flag L A okay so the flag we need is for the activity new task is the one we need so as I said if you're not seeing it you can just click on any and then click in my case I am seeing it it's this one here so Then, we 
in here I'll go to the next line Add the next line down here and then the next line I put also intent in it the one we have specified is it lower T name takes two arguments values which is the string package name on the string class name okay so first of all we have to give it the string class name then the string package name so the string class name is the setting class name so we need to put it in a string code like so which is com dot and Setting. So setting should be in a lowercase s should be lowercase settings then it goes our string then we put a comma comma like so then we put string again because the second parameter is also string type put com and roid Android. You know what? Let me just go to the next line from here. It won't give us an error, so I can just put the next line from here. Then Android. Dot. Dot. So the one the setting went to access. It also goes with setting. Dot. What do we want to access next? So what we want to access next, access next, you talk of access now is the option known as radio information. So all you have to do put is a radio with audio with the uppercase. So radio, radio, then information, information also goes with uppercase, like so, information. Then we end with a semicolon. Then we close our brackets like this. So I believe it must be a hella, but I will first try and check by running the app. Then we go to the next line. And the next line, all we have to do is start activity. Start. So start. Start activity. Here's this one. Start activity. So activity is I, like so, like so. Maybe this one takes more than one. Let me the first. Missing something. I'm missing something. So from here I can be able to run the app and see what happens. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, I make better videos on apps and everything. So just subscribe and uh, leave down a comment where you don't understand the language I'm speaking. You do not understand. You can leave a comment of the language you prefer, and I will remake this video. So let us open. Uh, 
so uh, app is open. Now when I click the button, two things that might happen. Either the app will crash or something else. When I click this, it crashes because I must have made an error. So this one, I believe this second high here must be in lowercase. This one here must be in lowercase. So I believe this I has to be lowercase. Um, let me first look. Oh, it's supposed to be settings with the S on both ends, like so. Settings on here, settings. So yeah, I'm just showing you errors you can normally get. Okay, so these are errors that will make your head spinning. Okay? So I believe this is the right code this time. So I run it up again. Check. Um, normally this will be put in a pride block so just in case on different android apps android phones you might just need to put this in a pride cash block so i open up again so before i tap let me first check my recent so all i have is this app here then the app i'm also opening then i tap on open as you can see, we are launched into the video information. So here you can just change your network status. Like you can put only 4G, but if you put only 4G, you won't be on on this Nokia C1. You won't be able to like dial and check uh, any USSD services. Okay. So by the way, I have an I have a video where I showed you how to use USSD services in. Android, so you can also use that video. You can also see that video now. On Yeah, I recommend that you have to make a video where I made a camera app. So this is the camera is here and right now. 